When we started Seamer about 13 years ago, it was a very small company. We just started a company with two other engineers and it was just at the time where uh, LASIK really took off and people were looking for better, good microkeratomes. And that's how we started it and we made the first development project and brought Amadeus to the market. Well, I would say there are two things which um, <clears throat> are the key success factors of our system. One is uh, it's more by uh, mobility and uh, it's a handheld device. So it basically it goes to the patient. And the other thing is um, the laser physics behind. And we have a completely different cutting process. We have a optics with very high focusing power, which results in low pulse energy. We combine it with high repetition rates. And uh, this is actually the basic key factor for our good clinical results. First of all, uh, we come from an, an area which is traditionally a micromechanic and precision area. So let's say the watchmaking industry. Yeah? So it's very difficult to, to copy something like this and make it work. Uh, the other thing is that everything we integrate is not off-shelf, so everything is custom-made. And the last uh, very important factor is our strong patent portfolio, which is worldwide. When we're talking about femtosecond lasers, we should keep in mind that femtosecond lasers are very, very complicated systems. Probably they are the most complicated system in whole therapeutic ophthalmic surgery. So one of the main relevant parameters will be its reliability, to have it as a safe and simple system available. And second, of course, we should look at the surgical outcome and therefore the precision and also the laser-induced side effects a very important parameter which scale directly with the laser parameters and the surgical outcome. Siemer in 2012 became a middle-sized company with more than 150 employees. We are still growing, looking for new talent and people. And we do stand really for high-tech products made in, in Switzerland. We are looking literally every month, every year to improve our products. When we were developing the crystalline, it came apparent that we had limitations in the system. So even that the crystalline is a, a very much detailed improved system, uh, uh, we came to the point where we said we have to redesign the whole system from A to Z. So the new system is basically 100% new. Even if it looks similar, all of the components have been redesigned. We have much more capabilities in terms of scanning, uh, and also on the application side. I'm always a, a, a little bit uh, uh, cautious when I use, of course, the word quantum leap. But in our company, it's, it's again uh, a quantum leap. So we, we brought a new platform. We preserved everything which was already good in the past. More than one million surgeries we did with the classic LDV and also the crystal line. And this we brought to the C model platform, but we improved dramatically a lot of things and especially uh, flexibility, which means that we can address now most surgeries in different areas for ophthalmology. Regarding the question two system or a all-in-one machine, um, we have to look at the user. If, for example, we have a high volume user, I think we have to have a very specialized system, which is special specialized even in refractive surgery or in lens surgery. Regarding a occasional user, maybe we can have some compromises. So maybe not today, not tomorrow, but in a couple of time, we will have a all-in-one system with some compromises, which will be available for cataract surgery as well as for corneal surgery. Femtosecond presbyopia reversal relies on the fact that due to aging, the lens is becoming larger and is getting structural and chemical changes, so it loses flexibility, mechanical flexibility. And our idea is to use the laser to generate smooth sliding planes inside the lens to increase its flexibility and as a consequence to increase the accommodation amplitude of the lens. Sometimes we are compared out the industry uh, that we can still act in comparison to the large corporation as a speedboat. So we are very flexible, of course. We can really kind of uh, watch the market and see what's going on and act very quickly accordingly. 
And I think a worry, another very important aspect is that we are extremely close to the customer. So customer care servicing, if a customer has a, a femtosecond laser, then everything starts, which means you have to help him, you need to train him. If there is a service issue, we are extremely quick at the customer's uh, place. I stock audio.